Remember when we talked about the characteristics that make an organism a living organism? Metabolism was one of those characteristics. Therefore, all living organisms have metabolism. And since all living things are made out of cells, that means that all cells have metabolism. A good definition of metabolism is the sum of all chemical reactions inside the cell. For an organism to survive, it must produce energy, and to do that, it must consume nutrients. Those nutrients come in combination of complex macromolecules. For example, one kind of nutrient could be proteins. Proteins are macromolecules made of smaller ones linked together. When a microorganism uses proteins as a nutrient, it must first break them down into those smaller molecules. Those smaller molecules can then be reassembled by the organism to make new proteins that the organism needs. Reactions that break down macromolecules are called catabolic, and all the reactions involved in breaking down macromolecules in order to produce smaller is what we call catabolism. Reactions that make things, such as linking smaller units to make a bigger, more complex one, are called anabolic. For example, to make a protein, amino acids are linked together to make a bigger, more complex molecule, the protein. All the reactions that synthesize something is what we call anabolism. So, metabolism is all the catabolic and anabolic reactions that happen inside the cell, and those are the only reactions needed inside any living organism. Always remember that catabolic reactions always release energy and anabolic reactions always require energy.